Well, big announcements coming in from the cabinet today. Ashwini Vaishnav, speaking only minutes back at the cabinet briefing, shared those details. Three key steps uh, have been taken as far as the semiconductor plan is concerned. Uh, India likely to welcome its very first semiconductor fab or fabrication facility. That one coming in the form of a cabinet approval for Tata Electronics. They had made their application, application being approved by the cabinet. Uh, here are the key takeaways. The investments uh, will be north of 91,000 crore rupees. This fab facility, the first of its kind in India, uh, will be set up in Dholera, Gujarat. Importantly, technology being brought in uh, by the accomplished player PSMC of Taiwan. They have as many as six foundries uh, in Taiwan. Uh, they will be assisting uh, Tata Electronics in terms of fabrication of chips here. Uh, they'll have a capacity of 50,000 chips a day. Uh, but here's the other takeaway, other than the fact that this is the very first uh, fabrication facility in India. Another important takeaway is that the chips being made will be of 28 nanometers. The reason that's significant is because as the chips get smaller, the complexity in manufacturing them gets increased exponentially and therefore the expectation was that chips being made here in India for the very first time will be 40 nanometers and above. This will be a cutting edge chip coming in at 28 nanometers. That's the first key announcement. The other one is with respect to an assembly and testing facility. Again, a Tata entity, TSAT, as it is being called, their pro proposal being granted approval. Uh, this proposal will envision envisions an investment of about 27,000 crore rupees. This facility will be set up uh, in Assam, an interesting choice of location there, uh, and will have a capacity of as much as over 90 million uh, chips a day. Uh, which brings us to the third key proposal that was uh, met with approval. This is CG Par, the technology being brought, brought in by their associates from Japan and Thailand. This will see an investment of 7,600 crore rupees and will be set up in Sanand, Gujarat. Uh, key aspects to point out here, other than the big numbers, of course, uh, another number to bear in mind is that this will have direct and indirect jobs of about 80,000 uh, jobs being created. Uh, there is also an expectation that this will help boost the value addition that we see locally uh, for Indian industries such as IT, hardware, and importantly, uh, a lot of these chips will cater to a diverse range of sectors such as telecom, such as electric vehicles, such as automotive, uh, as well as capital goods. These are some of the broad areas uh, that will be their demand will be met courtesy uh, these fabs uh, and ATMP facilities when they get operational. Make informed decisions with comprehensive analysis on the go. Strengthen your portfolio with real-time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18. Now streaming live 24-7 on YouTube.